10 Mega Projects Reshaping Ghana's Economy 2023 Ghana has recently begun a number of important mega projects, including both buildings and infrastructure. These are evidence of the accomplishments of both local experts and collaborations with foreign businesses. Investment in Africa as a whole is at an all-time high, and as a developing country, Ghana is focusing on infrastructure expansion to promote socioeconomic development and increase productivity across the board. For the next 10 years, the yearly financing need for infrastructure is projected to be $1.5 billion. And players from the public and commercial sectors are coming up with creative solutions to close this gap. Because of this, the growth of both privately funded infrastructure and public-private partnerships has become more dependent on project financing. Over the past 20 years, Ghana's infrastructure has changed gradually supporting the country's economic and developmental advancement. With estimates showing a continual development in the trend to correspond with the country's defined infrastructure goals, the infrastructural base has seen considerable expenditures. A renewed focus on infrastructure projects, including real estate investment projects, train constructions, and road development projects, has been observed during the past year by both the public and private sectors. Indeed, the Ghanaian construction industry is booming. Do you have a lingering doubt? Then learn about these 10 amazing construction projects that are changing Ghana. 10. Western Rail Line Slash Takoredi, Kumasi Railway Line Project. The 339 kilometer railway line from Takoradi Port in Ghana's western region to Kumasi in the southern region, with a branch line from Dunkwa to Owasso is currently being renovation as part of this project. The nearly 1 billion US dollars project entails the rehabilitation of over 200 bridges and culverts, as well as a total of 38 stations, two terminals, and other infrastructure. Along with the rebuilding of the workshops and running sheds, among other amenities, cutting edge telecommunication and signaling systems will also be installed. The rehabilitation of the railway line, which is essential for transporting agricultural products and minerals from the Middle Belt to Takoradi Port, is under the control of the Ghana Railway Development Authority, GRDA. Key bauxite mines, the foundation of the nation's integrated bauxite alumina master plan, are also located there. 9. Kumasi Paga Central Spine Rail Project The Kumasi Paga Railway Project often referred to as the Central Spine Railway Project, entails building about 559 kilometers of rail to connect Kumasi in the center of Ghana to Paga in the north, near the Burkina Faso border. The project, which aligns with the 2013 Railway Master Plan and will be finished soon, would enhance Ghana's rail and logistics infrastructure as a component of a comprehensive transportation system. Additionally, it will aid in lowering transportation costs and improving customer services, particularly for trade going to and from Ghana's hinterland, its northern areas, and the Sicilian nations. Additionally, it is anticipated to ease the movement of people and goods from Ghana's southern to northern regions, as well as from there to Burkina Faso and the Sicilian region. 8. Construction of National Cathedral of Ghana in Accra the Ghana National Cathedral Project involves building an interdenominational Christian cathedral with a number of chapels, a baptistery, a music school, a choir rehearsal, a grand central hall, and a two-level auditorium with 5,000 seats on a 14-acre landscaped plot next to Osu Cemetery in Accra. The new National Cathedral of Ghana will also have Africa's first Bible museum and documentation center in addition to an art gallery, a store, multi-use areas, and other amenities. A new ceremonial road and environment will connect it to the most notable sites in the capital city, including the Independence Square, Osu Cemetery, State House, and African Unity Circle. 7. The Signature Luxury Apartments Project The Signature is a project for luxury apartments being undertaken in the newly developed neighborhood of Shiashi in East Lycan, close to the Tedekporshi Interchange and across from the Ikra Mall. It is being developed by CAPEMAY Properties, a full-service real estate company focused on delivering quality buildings at competitive prices, good rental yield for investors, and excellent customer service. The proposal include building studios on, two, and three-bedroom apartments, 
as well as a four-bedroom penthouse with a private pool. It has facilities like a gym and steam room, rooftop pool and bar, ballet and yoga studio, basketball court, bowling alley, cafe, movie theater, spa, children's playground, grocery stores, concierge service, 24-hour security, and CCTV, to name a few. 6. Petronia City Project Petronia City is a proposed 2,000-acre city development project that aims to create the first fully integrated business center for the oil, gas, and mining industries in the West African region by providing residential, office, industrial, commercial, leisure, and hospitality spaces. It is located about 8 kilometers from Takoradi, the capital of Ghana's western region. In response to the 2007 oil finding and subsequent increase in socioeconomic activity in the region, the project was established to address the aforementioned infrastructural deficiency in Ghana's western region. Ghanaian serial entrepreneur Nana Kwame Bediako and British multi-millionaire real estate developer Azed Kola, who owns the famed Westbury Hotel and is working on the construction, have formed a joint company called Wanda World Estates. The Petronia City, hosted by the Bayhan and Yebu communities in Ghana's Ahanta West District, is scheduled to be built out in three stages over the course of 10 years. 5. Akran Sawam Railway Project Akran Sawam Railway Project consists of upgrading the narrow gauge railway line that connects the two towns, which are roughly 43 kilometers apart, into a standard gauge railway line. It was developed by Ghana Railway Development Authority, GRDA, in collaboration with the Ministry for Railway Development. The work is being done by RPG Group, the second largest producer of electric power transmission towers in India and one of the biggest engineering, procurement, and construction firms in the world, through its flagship company, KEC International Limited. 4. Apollonia City Development Project a new metropolis worth $250 million is being built in the greater Accra metropolitan area on a 23-25 acre plot of land between the villages of Oyibi and Afinia, about 20 kilometers to the east of Accra. The project is quickly emerging as the go-to location for businesses and individuals looking for a healthier environment outside of Accra's congested city limits. It offers a place to live, work, shop, entertain, relax, and much more, all in a well-designed natural setting with the highest infrastructural standards. Apollonia City is being constructed by Rendezvour, Africa's largest city developer with more than 30,000 acres of forward-thinking projects in the growth paths of significant cities in Kenya, Ghana, Manchuria, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. 3. Ghana International Trade Fair Center Redevelopment Project The goal of this project is to transform the 140-acre site of the Ghana International Trade Fair Center into a new, cutting-edge, mixed-use, sustainable commercial estate. The World Economic Forum, Africa's Convention Center, and Exhibition Halls will be developed as the first part of the project, which will be completed in phases. Phase 2 of the Ghana International Trade Fair Center Redevelopment Project will contain amenities including five-star hotels, upscale shopping centers, and other residential and commercial construction, along with a made-in-Ghana trade hub that will support small and medium-sized businesses. This new location will also house a technological hub that will act as a commercial, research, and high-end manufacturing center to support the government's industrialization drive into the 21st century. The Ghana Commerce Fair Company, which was established to support Ghana's post-independence commerce and industrialization initiatives, is in charge of leading the project. The company is well positioned to market and exhibit Ghana's products in order to draw in investors. 2. Marine Drive Accra Project The Marine Drive Accra Project is a 241-acre waterfront redevelopment plan for Accra that extends from Independence Square to the coast and culminates in a coastal overlook with expansive, dramatic scenery across the Gulf of Guinea. The project will transform this waterfront into a new public infrastructure with commercial exhibition centers, offices, a beach soccer field, recreational, and retail facilities. The National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C., among other notable structures, 
were designed by Sir David Ajay, a Ghanaian British architect who heads Ajay Associates, a firm with studios in Accra, London, and New York. The project is being developed by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts, and Culture. The project's primary goal is to use the tourism industry as a revolutionary economic force for the benefit of the people and nation of West Africa. 1. Accra Skytrain Project A fully automated, elevated light rail metro system called Accra Skytrain is being developed in Greater Accra, Ghana, with the goal of serving the city of Accra. The network will feature five routes, including one that loops around the center of the city and four radial routes that start at a new terminal at the Queen Nkrumah Interchange. 194 kilometers of track are used for all routes. The Ghanaian government and the South African ISKI train consortium signed a Memorandum of Understanding in 2018 and in November 2019, when a feasibility study was finished, the parties inked a build-operate-transfer concession deal. According to reports, the technology will be developed by the ASCII train consortium for an estimated U.S. dollar, $2.6 billion. Ghana has a financing need for infrastructure of roughly $0.4 billion annually, primarily in the areas of power and water. As a result of its recent oil discoveries, Ghana can improve public spending via increasing tax revenues. The nation has a strong economic foundation on which to grow, as well as a number of promising regions on which to build. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and turn on post notifications because we have more fascinating videos on fashion and large-scale building projects in Africa on the way.